Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4, Fresh Start, Part 24. Now, in the last part, I we went through Halloween and the first day of winter. Now it is Monday, the second day of winter. And Ryan is awake, so he's a bit hungry. So we're actually going to get him to get something to eat. I don't know what we're going to get him, but we're going to get him something. And I am just going to say in advance that if I start randomly singing, I apologize. I have random songs stuck in my head, so I'm just like... I'm just like wanting to sing them all the time. What should we get him for breakfast? We're just going to get him cereal. It's, it is what it is. Now, Emma is awake and has to go to the toilet. Get going to the toilet, Emma. Don't. Don't soil your pants. Or your robe. Oh, it's Hootie. Get going, Emma. Go to the bathroom. Now, I hopped in to create a sim so I can change their outfits. And I'm going to tell you, they're, some of Emma's are pretty interesting. Because I think Emma is at that stage now in her teenagehood where she would be experimenting with herself so would erica like erica's experimenting you're all experimenting and ryan why are you looking at the fridge or, actually it looks like he was looking at his feet <laughs> so you're gonna eat that cereal ryan and emma is really hungry like she's starving so what are we gonna do grab a quick meal grab some cereal no, stay out of the popcorn. I am tempted to just get rid of the popcorn maker because they always opt for the popcorn. It's so annoying. Okay. I'm literally trying really hard not to sing the song that's in my head right now. <laughs> okay, so Ryan is done. So we're going to get him to oh, clean up this disgusting uh, mess. Huh? Why is there... Why is this house a mess? Let's clean it. Clean. We don't need stinkiness in our house. And Emma decides that she's going to come upstairs and have her cereal. And she's going to be all like, good morning, Ryan. How are you? Ryan's going to be like, clean it up, mess. And as you can tell, I started to decorate the property for Christmas again. That's the second day of winter and the girls probably over the weekend, not over the weekend, but maybe after school come home and look at the frost on the windows. Doesn't that look cool? Anyways, I'm getting distracted here. We're going to decorate the tree. Hopefully it works this time. Hopefully the tree actually works this time, not like the last time when they decorated the tree. What are you doing? Emma's like, you took away my clean bowl. How could you? I mean, my dirty bowl. <laughs> All right, so Emma, let's get you to come out here and pick the bin up. What is with all these projects? Okay, so we're not going to do the projects, actually. I think Emma's just going to clean them up because they're... Ah, screw it. She's going to start over. Later. Now, I think this laundry has been... Okay, so the laundry's getting quite full and probably going to get stinky pretty soon. So I think it would be best if we... Okay, then. So, Ryan is cleaning, and Emma's going to go pick up that bin. Go pick that bin up, girl. I know, I'm so weird. Can't help the weirdness. It's 5.14 in the morning, and Emma's going outside in her robe to pick this up. And I think Emma is going to learn some responsibility and actually help with the laundry so we'll get her to pick 
to do this. Help Ryan out around the house. Because now Ryan really has to go to the toilet. And should probably put that laundry away too. Or we can wash it again. Why not? Alright, so Emma, you're gonna wash the laundry. Now, Emma. How is your homework situation? Okay, so you're done your homework, so I'm going to get her to write an entry in her journal. And Erica's awake! And Erica is starving. So we're going to get Erica to actually empty this popper. Then we're going to get her to have a quick meal. She's going to have a bowl of cereal. Why not? Get in the house, put back in order. Oh, I forgot to get rid of this trick or treat bowl the trick or treat bowl guys the trick or treat bowl i know i am being weird and i don't care so erica is okay so erica is gonna do that and then get herself full cereal emma's writing in her diary she's like I broke up with Lucas on Halloween. <laughs> he yeah, for, yeah. <laughs> he cried. Ha! <laughs> I don't know. I have a feeling that would be something she'd write. I thought I told you to go to the toilet. Ryan, toilet. Now. Please. Now. Who's this walking outside thinking she's all that? Oh, it's just Kenzie. Okay. Why is she out so early? I don't know. It's hard to say. And there's music playing. Oh. I actually can't hear it. It looks like it's talk radio. Who is listening to talk radio? <laughs> Emma, that's not your taste. You wouldn't listen to talk radio. You would listen to pop music. And Erica is doing what? Eating. She's eating her cereal. Ryan. Okay, so Ryan is kind of stanky. Oh, wait, no, he's not anymore, because he's washing his hands. Okay. So I feel like Ryan should... When does he have work? He works in three hours. So I feel like Ryan is actually going to make the lunches today. He's going to let his poor pregnant wife sleep. Well, he makes the lunches, so he's going to make... Make a sack lunch, tuna salad for Emma. Tuna salad for himself. And veggie and hummus for Erica. Uh -huh. ah. Okay, so Emma is done writing her journal. I think Erica should go to the toilet. Maybe not Emma's toilet, but her toilet. She should go to the toilet. The toilet. And I think... Maybe Erica wants to work out. She's gonna box. She's gonna box with the punching bag. What are you doing, Emma? Oh, she's gonna put the fire on. Okay. Put the fire on in our beautiful Christmassy fireplace. And now we're all gonna chat with Erica, because Erica's gonna be busy. Oh, Abby's awake and starving. Where is she at in her pregnancy? Okay, so in 13 hours she's gonna be in her third trimester. It's astounding how 
quickly pregnancies happen in The Sims. So I think Abby is actually going to have some oatmeal. Where's Ryan? I thought he was making lunches. Uh-huh. Make lunches. What are you doing outside? Oh, because it's snowing, that's why. Because it's snowing, that's why. She's gonna watch some TV. Erica's boxing. And... Okay then, I guess the girls are not gonna have lunch to go to work with, go to school with, because... Cannot. <laughs> he decided... Yes, cannot. He decided that looking at the snow was more important than lunch. Ah! So cool. Ah, he cut himself again. Wish. Okay, so we're gonna ah. get you to stop <laughs> doing all this. Not. There's no point, because the girls are going to school, in literally, now. She's gonna go to school. She's gonna go to school. And what? Yes, I was about to say, they're not going to school yet. They're going to school. They have to go to school. School is important, girlies. Girlies. Abby, you don't need the popcorn on. You just sit down and you eat your oatmeal. Because you got lots of taking care of babies to look after. You gotta look after the lovely and talented Scarlet. And you gotta go to the toilet. <laughs> He's dancing. Erica and Emma are at school. Nappy is gonna clean. She's gonna clean up her mess. And then she's gonna go to the toilet. Okay, we can turn off the stereo now. It's all good. We don't need the stereo on. How in the heck are you hungry? Didn't you just eat? How are these Sims hungry? No, too late. You had your chance to make lunches. Go to work. You can get something at the fridge at work. What? There's an upgraded fridge? We upgraded the fridge? You did not. Liar. Naya. He's excited because it's snowing and it's the first day of snowing. Scarlet is very hungry. Be sure to feed her. Well, we will stop wanting popcorn. Give food to Scarlet. We're going to give her some healthy yogurt. Excuse me. So Scarlet, we're going to get your skill up while you wait for your dinner. For your breakfast, I mean. So Erica got some royalties. She's got to get back. She's got to get on her... Get off the pot and start... Start actually making, like, writing more books. But that was the agreement. She's the whole mom as well, and she keeps writing her books. Because they got lots of money. They don't need two people working in the household. And Abby can be a stay-at-home mom because she's married now, and her husband's a doctor, and she doesn't necessarily need to work. Now get this kid fed. Oh, ah, oh. oh, the Sims when they don't listen to you. So 
So, yes. yes. Bye. I'm put her in. Put Scarlet oh. in the high chair and get her to eat. And then Abby's hungry again. Why are they always so hungry? Have a quick meal. Get a yogurt. Get yourself some yogurt. Get yourself some yogurt. They're happy because they're toasty and warm. Oh, Chorg. Chorg. Now, as an early Christmas present, I think they're going to adopt a pet. So after Abby is done her breakfast, she is going to let little Scarlet Welcome. out of the high chair. Hey, Otherwise, Ooh, Scarlet will cry her little Let's beady see. eyes out. Who is this? It's Max! He's skipping school! I feel like Abby should go out there and just lecture him and be like, Max, I understand you don't have your parents are not around anymore. It's okay. But why do you have to skip school? I feel like Abby... Like, I said in the last part that Abby would probably not want Erica around Max. But at the same time, I think Abby thinks that Max is just a long-lost child. And he needs, he needs some guidance. And Abby feels that she's just the person to do that for him. So Abby, I decided that Abby loves Max just like as if she was her, as if he was her own son. So he's just walking by. He's glancing at the house. He's like, "Uh oh, I don't, I don't need Mrs. Lockwood. I don't need Mrs. Lockwood spotting me skipping school. She'll get mad." All right, Abby. Oh. 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 She's talking. When did her boobs get so huge? Is it because she's gaining weight because of the pregnancy? Like, it's like, I don't remember her boobs being that huge. This I get distracted so easily. Anyway, after we let the baby out, the baba. Let the baby out. And now we're going to adopt a, a, a pet. I don't know what kind of pet I want to adopt, though. What are we going to do? Household? Adopt? We're going to adopt. I feel like the girls would probably want a puppy. But Abby would probably want a kitten because, I mean... So she's going to adopt a kitty. Abby would probably adopt a kitten just because they're easier to look after. Because huh. she's got a baby on the way and she's got a toddler. She doesn't need to look after a lot of other kitties. So I'm just going to look at... <laughs> Why does Pumpkin have to be a raccoon? That's the coolest name ever for a cat. Okay, so we're going to look at the kittens. So we have Annie, which, thanks a lot, Annie, because now I'm going to have Smooth Criminals stuck in my head again. <laughs> and Moki is a tabby cat. She's adorable. We have Lapern. We have Mama Kitty. That's an interesting name. She's so cute, though. And we have Tom. Car. Aw, Pixel. And Pumpkin the Raccoon. Mimi. 
butter. I think we're going to go for Mama Kitty. We're going to go for Mama Kitty. We're not going to keep that name, though. Definitely going to change the name. So, who are you? Oh, she's the adoption agent. I was about to say, why did you just let yourself into my house? I just, I don't get it. He's still. <gasps> Is this the kitty? Oh, he's so cute. It's a girl, I think. Look at her strutting around. No, Cindy, you're not. No. You gotta strut the kitty. Look at the kitty. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, no. Yeah, that's it. I'm adopting him. Adopter. It's a girl kitty. I keep forgetting well, that it's a girl kitty. We're going to adopt Mama Kitty. Yes, I am positive. And we're not going to keep that name. Justice, no. Cece, no. Ginger, no. Brandy, no. Hitler, no. Sprinkles, no. We're not gonna name her Sprinkles or Patches or Brenda or Betty or Mel or Shelby or Emma. Yeah, that would be funny. Let's name the cat Emma <laughs> after our daughter Emma. <laughs> I feel Emma would be offended. She'd be like, "Really, Mom? No. Precious? No. Peanut? No. Lola? No. Mama Kitty? No. Fiona?" Brenda, Feifei, Butter, TP, Angel, Dixie, Laika, Shiloh, Rainbow, Doodle, Monka, Lulu, Rose, Burger, Penny, Precious, Noodle, Bear. <gasps> I think I know what I want to name the baby. The baby kitty. Sweetie? No. Oreo! Yeah! I like that Oreo. name. Oreo. Even though it's a girl kitty named Oreo. And she doesn't look like an Oreo. She's orange with... She's white with orange spots. But we're still gonna name her Oreo. Oh, I love the kitty. I love the kitty. Ah, uh, huh. We got a kitty. Ah, oh, arrow shoe. We got a kitty, kitty. We got a kitty. And Abby just became friends with Oreo. Oh, the kitty. We got a kitty. I know. I'm just like, I'm really annoying, but I can't help it. Where are you going? I want to take your picture, kitty. Okay. No. We need the kitty to turn around. Turn around, kitty. What are you doing, child? Okay. I feel like the toddler needs a bath. So we are going to... What are you still doing in our house? Get out. And we are going to put Little Miss Scarlet in a nice warm bubble bath. And where's the kitty? Oreo! He's here somewhere. She. I keep getting Oreo as a she kitty. Oh, she's so cute. Alright. So, before I go any further, I gotta remember that I gotta give Oreo a cat litter box and a food dish. <clears throat> Alright, so Oreo needs a kitty litter. Needs a food dish first. So we're gonna put okay. So I think I wanna get this feeder. And she's a girl kitty, so I'll probably give her a pink feeder. And I wanna 
want to get her the self-cleaning litter box. Because, why not? And we are going to put it in the community bathroom. I think it's most appropriate to do so. Um... kitty. We got the kitty some stuff. And, okay, we're gonna ba oh, bath our very no. stinky baby. That's right. Go away. We don't want you here. Okay. So, Abby is gonna ha give oh, Scarlett yeah. the bath. Splish. Oh. oh, yes, yes. Scarlet oh. is oh. being splashy. Oh, hi, being a baby. Ray. How far along is she in her pregnancy? Oh, okay, so she's gonna be in her third trimester in five hours. Oh. oh. So Scarlet is being a baby. Splash her mom in the tub. What's the kitty doing? What's Oreo doing? Oreo is meowing at the counter. Okay, so Okay, so Abby is gonna get something to eat. And I'm gonna get you to I'm gonna get Scarlet to up her skill level while Abby gets herself something to eat after she cleans up this mess. So I want to get her to have a bowl of chips for now. To tie her down until dinner. The girls will be home soon. Scarlet's gonna go up her mo her movement skill. I am gonna up her uh, potty training skill as well. Emma's gonna invite over Travis, and of course, they brought home another school project. Okay, so Erica is feeling very tense. Why is she feeling tense? The edge of a breakout. All this stress is going to cause me to break out. Act more stress from that thought. Era, Erica, your face is clear and beautiful. You don't have to worry about it. But anyways, we're going to get, what does Erica have for a project? So she has the air pressure rocketry, which we are going to put in the backyard somewhere. For now, we'll just put it in the thing. And I am going to get rid of these projects because there's no point in them having them if they got new ones. So we're going to get rid of those. Put the project there. And put Emma's project. I feel like Emma would like force all, like force Alexander, someone like Alexander, to do her homework for her. Alright, so we're going to get Erica started on her project. And we're going to get Emma. Emma is, Emma has a huge crush on Travis. So I think Erica would try, Emma, not Erica, Emma, would probably try to she would invite him in. She'd be like, come on in. Would you like a cup of coffee? Emma had a good day at school. That's annoying, boss. Yeah, close to us. Now, I want to see if they'll kiss. Emma, Emma doesn't like to beat around the bush when it comes to boys she likes. And she's going to do it right in front of her mom. That's so funny. 
Oh, wow. Okay, so they really are into each other. He's like, wow, you're into me? But what about Lucas? And she's like, ah, screw Lucas. <laughs> so Abby's getting a phone call from her sister. Now, we're not going to hang out with you. We'll hang out with you tomorrow, Cindy, if it'll make you that happy. So Erica's really tense. And Emma's really happy. Poor Emma. Poor Erica. She's just a mess. But that's all part of being a teenager, I suppose. Where Emma is happy because she's getting a new boyfriend. I think she is going to ask him to be her boyfriend. Uh -huh. he says. Larkin? Uh, yes. Emma's got a new boyfriend. Uh -huh. Awesome. Cheat. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. So Erica acquired the rocket science oh, skill, yes. and Emma Simone just became the girlfriend yes. of Travis. Weebus. <laughs> they're really into each other. But she's literally just like, yeah. <clears throat> and Travis is a bit of a bad boy. Like, he's ma one of Max's best friends. So, yeah. So they're gonna just talk out here. Nobody noticed that they got a kitten. And Oreo's gonna come over and see Emma. Ah. Ah. Hey, Wes. Chavez Oreo's Erka. trying to get Emma's attention. Hey, boy. Pleva. Ah. Yeah, sure, sure. And Abby, for some strange reason, popped another thing of popcorn. Why? I'm getting really annoyed with this popcorn maker. You know what? No. No more popcorn. <laughs> now, Abby, you really need to go to the toilet. So, go to the toilet. Go to the toilet. And then... Go upstairs and start dinner. It's a really cold day outside, so I think we're going to serve some chili. For dinner. And Emma... Needs to go to the toilet. Sure. Go to the toilet. Oh no, Emma's mm. getting sick. They're getting sick. How's Erica? Erica's just feeling really tense. I don't think. Flirtatious. Oh my goodness. Got a compliment from a cute classmate. Pretty good day. Okay then. Who's this cute classmate? I must investigate this. It's probably Max. Yeah, it looks like it was Max. Uh -huh. That's okay. Emma, you don't need, you've got a beautiful boy somewhere in this house. Who would love your attention right now. I feel like... Okay, so I feel like Emma... I feel like they would... Oh, mess around in bush? No, we're not going to mess around in the bush. Maybe at the bluffs in the summertime. But not in the freezing temperatures. We'll mess around in bed. It's better. Erica's out here. Doing her project. Freezing her little buns off. Oh no, you don't want to go swimming in the freezing cold temperature. That would not be good. But it looks pretty though. I'd love to have the water in the pool. 
So what is what am I doing? Or Abby is making some chili. Ah. Oh. Meh. And Erica is working on a project. And Emma is flirting with her boyfriend. And they're going to mess around in the closet. They're going to mess around in her parents' closet. That's naughty. Look at them. Messing around in her parents' closet. What's the baby doing? Oh, she has, she's upping her skill. I think tomorrow we're actually going to go over to Cindy's. Because Cindy has a little toddler, too. Which would be Scarlet's cousin. And I think they should bond a little bit. And actually... They should bond a little bit and actually... And what's Emma doing? I think Emma, yeah, Emma's going to set the table. <laughs> Emma's going to go set the table because that's something her mom would want her to do. And she's going to do that while mom's cooking chili. Okay, so they're going to sit at this table tonight. Makes sense. And maybe after dinner they can decorate the Christmas tree. All right. So who's calling Erica? No. Cindy is must be really like a really lonely chicky poo because she she always seems okay. So everyone's ready. So we're gonna grab a serving, and you're gonna grab a serving, Emma. Grab a serving, and little baby Scarlet's gonna grab a serving too. Erica's gonna grab a serving. I feel like I feel like Abby would be like, aren't you going to invite that nice young man that you're seeing to come sit at the table? Erica's still feeling very tense, so I'm actually gonna get Erica after after she's done eating her chili. Let me get Erica after she's done eating her chili. Probably just go on the computer and play some games on her computer. Probably play some Sims Forever. And Ryan's home. And Emma. Lucas, aww. Even though she broke up with Lucas, Lucas is still congratulating her on dating another man. Even though Lucas didn't really like her that much to begin with. And Ryan, you are a mess. So I feel like you need to go to the toilet, have a shower, and then eat some supper. What's Erica doing? Sit your little butt down. <laughs> She's just going to cry. <laughs> Travis doesn't know what to think. He's like, there, there, Erica. It's okay. Sit down, Erica. What is she doing? But anyway, 
So, we're going to get Abby to clear everything else up. Clear and clean everything. And then Abby is gonna do that while Erica sits mm -hmm. down and eats her din din. And then Emma, our little Emma, what is she doing? She's just laughing. Okay, well, I'm a little concerned because she's in a hysterical mood, so I am going to get her to take a bath. Take a bath with soaps. Lavender foam. It's going to really have a nice, relaxing bath. So, Emma's really, t Erica's really tense. So, I want to get Erica to also take a nice, Hot bath. Take a bubble bath. Take a bubble bath, girl. Oh, Abby's gonna feed the kitty. Forgot to feed the kitty. So we're gonna feed the kitty cat. And Scarlet looks very yeah, Scarlet's really sleepy, so Ryan's gonna have his supper. And after Abby's done, I think we're going to, Scarlet's just going to go to bed on her own for now. Because she's getting pretty sleepy. Ryan's like, when did we get a cat? <laughs> Oh, the cat doesn't like to shower. Yes. Okay. Abby, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> I was going to say. Is she setting the table? Why is she setting the table? Abby's going to tuck her little Scarlet in. Uh, Erica's going to have a little bit of a relaxing bath. And then she's going to come in and play on the computer for a little bit. And then she's going to go to bed. And Emma's pretty tired too. So we're going to get Emma to go to bed. What? So Ryan's going to... What is Ryan listening to? He's listening to Latin music, okay? Cool. So I was going to get them to decorate the tree tonight, but I don't think I want to do it. I think they'll just get, in, like, get them to do it tomorrow. Then after Ryan goes to bed, Kenzie again, walking by our house. This Travis dude is just going to do whatever he wants, I guess. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. So Travis is leaving. Just fine. He needs to leave anyway. Everyone's going to bed. And everyone else is in bed except Emma. Oh, wait, Emma. That's not Emma. That's Erica. All right. So Erica is feeling a little better, which is good. We'll get her off the computer now and get her to go to the toilet. And then she's going to go to bed. Let's 
So, Abby is asleep. And how is she doing for her? <laughs> okay, so she's in the third <laughs> trimester right now. Which means she can have her baby anytime. And the kitten came into the room with them. Oh, what a kitty. So. I'm gonna get Erica into bed. Alright. So everyone's in bed. Hopefully sleeping. There we go. Everyone's in bed. Abby is awake because she has to go to the bathroom. That's what happens when your sim is pregnant, guys. They go to the bathroom a lot. So... We're gonna get Abby to go to bed now. Cause she's still pretty tired. We're all gonna go to bed, and go to sleep. Okay. So they're all feeling pretty good. <laughs> okay. So Emma is awake. And I feel like Emma is going to wear her Christmassy outfit. Oh, Marin, oh, ah, clumsy. Now. Now, if you're wondering what she's wearing, she's in that phase now where she wants to be more adult, so she's put on this. Her mom wanted the girls to wear something festive, so this is as festive as they're getting. I feel like they're going to have a Christmas party because Christmas is in like Christmas is tomorrow so Abby is going to do the do her homework not Abby, Emma is going to do her homework why am I getting everybody mixed up they all look the same so Emma is doing her homework. Erica's still sleeping. <laughs> so when Erica wakes up, we're going to get her to do her homework too. And another thing I wanted to do while I have it on the brain is these pictures. They, they need these pictures. Decorated in their rooms. So Emma and Erica, when they were kids, Emma and Erica as teenagers. And
Okay, so all the negatives we're going to put. We're going to sell. We don't need a bunch. We don't need a bunch. So I got like Erica and Emma as kids, then Erica and Emma as teenagers, and then Erica and Max as teenagers, of course. Put that on her wall. And Emma, of course, is going to have her pictures. She's going to have her and Erica as kids, and then her and Erica as teenagers. Because that would be cool. And, alright, so we're going to get into the What is she listening to? She's listening to Latin music, but we're going to change the station to pop. awake. So Abby is going to actually make breakfast this morning. What is she going to make? I don't know yet. But we're going to serve breakfast. I think for today she is going to make scrambled eggs and bacon because she hasn't made that in a while. Where's there's Oreo, being a little kitty. And... Mm. Ooh! Abby is having fun, making some breakfast for everybody. Uh. Thinking about <sighs> cupcakes. She's probably like, maybe I should bake some cupcakes this afternoon. snowing outside. It's in a blizzard this morning, so of course Abby's going to make something comforting for breakfast. Warm and comforting. As you would like to have in a blizzard. Abby is going to have some breakfast. Ryan is awake and on the computer. So Ryan is going to have some breakfast too. Ryan is going to grab a serving. Erica is going to eat some breakfast after she's done her homework. And Emma is going to eat some breakfast after she's done hers. And when Scarlett wakes up, she's going to have some breakfast too. And today, I think we're going to invite Cindy, or we'll go over to Cindy's house. 
Maybe we'll go over to Cindy's and meet the other toddler so that little Scarlet can have a little play date. Hmm. Okay. Oh um, <laughs> my. Emma just walked into the kitchen wearing that. And <laughs> Abby was like, what was that? And Erica's good. Emma's going to sit right down in front of her. I can see Abby now. She's going to. Encourage recent. Oh, okay. <laughs> Influence to shower. Influence to sleep. Influence to pee. Okay, so can't influence her to change her outfit. So we are going to. We're just gonna tell her. We're gonna be like, what is that that you're wearing? And Abby's like, come on, Mom, it's the style. Uh, arb. Mom, and Abby would be like, you are not going to school and wearing that. Uh, She's like, go change your clothes, please. I feel Nip like, and oh, me? yeah. Mm -hmm. She'd be like, uh, me. go change your clothes, please. Oh. Uh. And now, Abby's got to use the bathroom because she really needs to pee. be like, fine, I'll change my outfit. And Erica, Erica is like, oh, finish your food, Erica. You too, Emma. Emma needs to pee. So, the toilet broke. Wayne, Mabuna! Emma's gonna go use the toilet. So. <laughs> the baby's awake. Oh, oh. Oh, are going to go to school pretty soon. <clears throat> the baby is going to eat. Brian is going to go to work in an hour. What is Ryan doing? Nothing. Just chilling in his robe. So we are actually going to kiss our husband on the cheek. Love our husband. Kimbara. <laughs> Erica, go to school. Erica's saying, feeling forlorn. Nobody likes me. No one will ever like me. Why bother with anything anymore? And, of course, Ryan would say, I'll always love you. Because Ryan married her mom. And Ryan does love Emma and Erica like they were his own kids. So and Abby is being really sweet. Uh, she's like, uh, wanna come Christmas shopping with me? 
that's right. right. They gotta go Christmas shopping. She'd be like, wanna come Christmas shopping with me? And Ryan would be like, sure. So. We are going to send the girls. We're gonna send Scarlet to daycare. And we're actually gonna take we're actually Ryan and Ryan and Abby are gonna go Christmas shopping with Abby. Oh. Not gonna take Scarlet with us. Scarlet, Flohang, Cobble, as a scoob. We're gonna go shopping. She feels like the girls would probably want to go clothes shopping. So, like, she figures the girls would probably want clothes for Christmas, I mean, this year. So. I'm just gonna go shopping at the clothes and clothing store and see what they got. Of course, Erica would probably want workout clothes, as always. They're at the clothing store. Who's this guy? Genji Shimizu. Okay. So, Ryan and Abby are at the clothing store. She's gonna, Abby is gonna look for some outfits. She would tell Ryan. Erica probably would want more workout clothes, and Emma probably would want something really stylish, so we're gonna get, and Scarlet, we gotta get Scarlet something too. So I think Ryan would probably buy perfume for Emma, and wait a minute, I don't even know if that's perfume. We'll buy that. Because that's woman's perfume. And that would be for Emma. And it feels like Erica might like something like this. But Emma would definitely like something like this. Oh, and there's an upstairs too. There's an upstairs part. Let's see what's upstairs. What's in the upstairs part? Okay. More stuff. Uh, not a lot of stuff in here. But Abby's like, you go shopping for the kids and I will just look around... So Abby is going to get Ryan this outfit. So Abby is actually going to buy this outfit for Ryan. If we can. Why can't we? We can buy that. Oh, it's because it's a man's outfit. I see. That's why. That's why we can't purchase it. So 
Abby would not buy that because Emma would probably wear something more like this. So she would buy that for, no, not try it on. She would buy it for Emma. Or maybe she'll buy it for herself. Who knows? I don't think Abby would buy her herself some outfits. But Ryan would purchase this outfit. Well, this is no fun. You can't buy it for other people. You don't you have to buy it for yourself. So I feel like... Alright. So Ryan would probably buy perfume for Emma. And he would probably get... Abby would buy this for Ryan, I believe. Abby would probably buy this for Ryan. And perfume for Emma. And then they would head over to this store with Ryan. So they're at the other store. Now, they're at the other store. So they're looking for stuff for the girls. This looks more like a clothing store. Well, like, Would she buy it for herself? Well, there's no point in it. Because it probably will be for herself. So we will buy them clothes. It'll just be... Like, we can buy these clothes and pretend like an outfit for Emma. Outfit for Erica. Outfit for Ryan. And... We got them perfume, lotion for Emma, lotion for Erica, probably get, gift the moons, and Ryan would probably buy this, and maybe Emma needs a new mirror, so maybe Ryan would buy that. And gift it. Maybe gift it to Abby. <laughs> Maybe Abby's been hinting at a new living room set. Mm, no. We'll just buy those. So Ryan is off to work, and Abby, whose phone is ringing, Abby, seriously, I just found out about this concert at an underground abandoned warehouse in the fashion district. We have to go. Let's head out around 8 and make sure that we can get in. Abby's like, no, I got children. <laughs> So 
So Abby's just out Christmas shopping for everybody. And now that that is done, Abby is going to go home. You see. So All right, so Abby is home. Scarlet's back from daycare. What is she doing? Okay, so she's dancing. Abby needs to change her diaper, so we're gonna change Scarlet's diaper. Change little Scarlet's diaper. Uh, toddler care. Change her diaper. And then we're gonna go outside and pay our bills. Pay bills. Oh, we gotta sell the publisher. Winterfest is tomorrow. Can Kubu Kweba? Oh, yes! Abby's like, Scarlet, you need to change your diaper. The moiggy? <laughs> We're gonna change Scarlet's oh, stinky diaper. Oh, oh, oh. Cindy keeps asking us to hang out. <sighs> Eventually, we will have to hang out with Cindy. Not that that's a bad thing or anything, it's just. We're just gonna. Look at that! Look at little Scarlet! She's like, oh, it's so painful. Now, I feel like Scarlet needs to get up her thinking skill. Where is Scarlet's skills at, anyway? So she has one communication skill, so we are going to teach her. So she can move quite fast now, because her movement skill is up. And her potty skill, so we need her thinking skill up, her potty, we need every skill to be up. And Abby's cleaning up. Little Miss Abby. Although I don't see why she is, because... What is... What are you doing, Oreo? Okay. So I think we should potty train Scarlet some more. After we go to the toilet ourselves. Go to the toilet. <laughs> toilet. In her inventory. And we're gonna potty train Scarlet. There is one thing though. We gotta decorate the tree when the girls get home. First, I'm actually gonna see if we can add a present 
We can't even add a present yet. Place present pile under the tree. Let's see. We'll see if we can do that after we party train the baby. We need to potty train the Baba. The door. <laughs> okay. She's like, it looks like that's almost on here. That would be ninety dollars. <laughs> Who is calling him? No thanks. Oh, yeah. Lucas, not interested in that. <laughs> And the maid's not here anymore, so we have to clean that. I wonder if the animation for the present will work. I just want to test it. There we go. We can actually see the presents. Thank goodness. I was worried. So... Abby is actually going to clean this up, and another thing we're going to do is we're going to serve lunch. We're going to make BLT sandwiches, and that's what they're going to have for supper. They're not going to go too crazy on supper, because Abby's kind of, like, she is gonna pop any day now, any time. So she's just gonna come over here and finish cooking. Oh! <laughs> Her BLT. <laughs> she's gonna make a BLT. And... Oh. Ah. Like, I feel like Scarlet. What's she doing? Okay, Scarlet, you can't go outside. It's too cold for you to be going outside in that. So, we are actually going to get Scarlet to change into her winter outfit so that she can play outside. And the girls are home, and they're just running inside, and they're literally crying for fun. So, I think I want to get um, Erica. Okay, so after Abby has something to eat... After Abby eats some BLT, I think the girls are going to eat BLT as well. But Erica's going to grab a serving. And Emma's going to grab a serving. Ooh, <laughs> and Scarlet oh. is going to grab a serving before we forget about little Scarlet. Oh. And look at Scarlet. <laughs> look at her run. She's so cute. Scarlet's gonna come into the living room here. Look how pretty this living room is. I love it. Scarlet's gonna eat her BLT. Everyone's going to eat their BLT, and... <clears throat> I think after they're done... How's Emma's hunger? Okay, so Emma is done. How's Erica? Erica is done. 
And how is that? Abby's good. So, Abby, girl, you need to go to the toilet. Go to the toilet again, Abby. Only for like the millionth time in your life. And... After this... After Abby uses the bathroom... We're gonna get them to decorate the tree together as a family. Erica and Emma, don't go too far. What's Emma doing? No, go. come on, girls. Okay, so we have to decorate the tree. So we have to decorate with garland first. Blue and white bells with Emma and Erica. Okay, hopefully this actually works. Okay. Scarlet's gonna come and sit on the couch. The girls are having fun. They're all having fun decorating. See, yay! It works. It's so pretty. And now we are gonna decorate with ornaments. Blue and white with Emma and Erica. Oh boy. Runs. Excellent. That looks so cool. And it looks really pretty them doing it in snow. Reba and Emma plushy. Huh? Emma's uh, like, I think we need more. What's funny with Teeny? I'm look at them. Pulling. <laughs> no. Uh, They're decorating the tree together. Uh, uh, awesome. Yeah. Now. We're not done yet. Decorate with tree skirt. White and gold snowflakes with Emma and Erica. Thanks. <laughs> Kaguna, brush you and Arda. Okay, and Ryan is home, and he sees them all in there, and they're decorating the tree, and he loves it. But he's going to eat some BLT. Oh, Connor. Huh. Uh, you developed hey. that man. There's Emma and Erica. Uh, huh. She's not uh, in the that looks really nice. I like that tree. So much better than what it looked like last year. <laughs> oh no! Abby's in labor! Abby's in labor, Abby's in labor, Abby's in labor. I didn't think that they were going to be in labor. It's a Christmas baby. So, Abby is... 
Come on, Abby. Yo, Zip. Khalifa. <laughs> Have the baby at the hospital. And yes, we're going to come with... With Ryan! Leanne Zip. And, oh, I did not expect the baby to be born the day before Christmas. This is, like, the best Christmas present that the family could get. The baby. A new addition. The baby. Now, again, like I did the last time, I do have two names in mind. One for a boy and one for a girl. So, we'll just see what we get. But I'm really excited. I love it when they... I love that... Like, it's literally like, you were born Christmas Eve. Okay, so. There's nobody to check in. <laughs> like, Ryan is panicking. Right. That's our doctor. <laughs> Kaylin Leggett is our doctor. And Emma is literally, not Emma, Abby is literally like... You have to check me in ASAP. So Abby is going to check yeah, in at the front in. desk. Hmm. Oh, uh. She's like, I'm pregnant. I'm going to have a baby. And her blood pressure's up. Uh. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, so she's checking in. She's like, yep, yeah, you just go right into the delivery room. Your Dr. Kaylin Leggett will be there to deliver your baby. Ryan, where are you? Get your butt in here. You gotta be here with your with your wife. She's gone into labor. Your baby is on its way. His or her way, I should say. Abby has learned that Kaylin is a medical agent. Okay. That makes Abby a little nervous. She's like, um, why can't my husband deliver my baby? He's the chief of staff. And Ryan's like, that's okay. I'm here. I'm monitoring. Everything is fine. And it's another baby girl. What are we going to name our baby girl? I thought I had a name in mind, but I think we are actually going to name her. We're going to go back to the E names, and we're going to name her Erin. So we have Erica, Emma, Scarlett, and Erin. So, Erin. Erin's born! Yeah. Okay, so we have Erin. Our little baby Erin. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> little Erin. Abby's gonna come Blondie. out and bond with Erin for the first time. Oh, while Ryan so runs away. Sweet. Typical dad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Abby would be like, don't cry, little Erin. It's okay. Uh -huh. Uh, Abby's like, don't cry, little Aaron. It's okay, your mommy's here, and your daddy ran away. But now, we're gonna get them both to go home. Their baby has been born the night before Christmas. And it's another baby girl, so they have four girls all together. So Abby has four daughters. Not something I was hoping. I was kind of hoping that she would have a boy for once. But that's okay. That's alright. At least she didn't get another set of twins. That would have been interesting. So Abby has four children, they're all daughters. So Abby
Abby's feeling a little better now, so we're going to get her to go in and finish putting the topper on the tree. We're going to decorate. Just place the topper. You don't have to have the girls. The girls helped you with most of it. And where's our little baby Erin? Where's Erin? Oh, she's in Erica's room again. Erica's like, why does the baby always have to be in my room? But, oh no, we're not gonna delete the, we're not gonna delete our baby. That would be mean. Okay, so we're gonna put baby Erin right there for now. We don't have a nursery or anything for her yet. I think that Erin and Scarlet, like, the room is big enough. The bedroom's big enough, so I think Aaron and Scarlet can share a room until until Erica and Emma move out. And then once Erica and Emma move out, then Aaron can have her own room. But for now, because they're really close in age, I think Scarlet and Aaron can share a room. It's not going to hurt them. So... Now that the baby is born, I'm actually going to end this part right here. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. Always make, make sure to also leave a big thumbs up if you like the video, as well as subscribe. And I will see you guys again next time.